There's a teacher that berates a student because they apparently have white privilege and then threatens the parents for questioning her, saying, come at me. ...themselves out. The haters did. Oh. They are forced to bring awareness to the situation that they are in because other people put them in that situation. My question is, in your case, where is the uh, white student union? Because, because we, we need all races You don't need equality. a white student union, Jake. Oh. You get everything. If your parent wants to talk to me about their profession and their opinion on their profession, I would love to hear that. I know very little about anything else in the world other than education, okay? However, if your parent wants to come talk to me about how I'm not doing a good enough job in distance learning based on what you need as an individual, just dare them to come at me. Because I'm so sick to my stomach of parents trying to tell educators how to do their job. I have never once gone to a doctor's appointment and tried to tell my medical health provider how to treat me. You know why? Because I know nothing about that. I didn't get my degree in medicine. I am going off, I'm sorry. This is my go off period. Okay, so just a little bit more context to what's actually happening here. They're having this conversation with this student because I guess the teachers were trying to implement this this uh, black student council or student union or something like that. And basically one of the students is like, hey, why shouldn't there be a white student union then as well? Well, that teacher's like, well, you just don't get to have one because you're just white, of course, because that's, that's the only reasoning that you need there. Which she obviously just loses her mind, goes crazy. And the fact is that what she's basically saying is, well, you already have all of these privileges, apparently, although they can't be named, or I'll just try to make up something to pretend as if that's the case. And black people need their own thing. They need their own student union, which, by the way, we're not going to pretend it's segregation because that's uh, out of the line of talk talking points for these people, of course, because they're too ridiculously dumb to understand what they're actually talking about in the first place. But... If you're going to do it for blacks only, the, the real point is that the guy was basically pointing out, why shouldn't we be able to have this for whites only as well? If you're going to do it for blacks only. And if you have a problem with having one for whites only, then you should have a problem with having one for blacks only as well. Because if we were truly equal, that's the way that you would see it. But because you don't see it that way, you believe that black people need to be segregated away from the white students and that way, in some way, in your weird utopia will end up with equality being achieved, which, of course, doesn't make any sense at all. Now, the other thing that she was talking about is the fact that parents shouldn't tell her how to do her job. Well, here's the thing that you need to take into consideration is that any good parent is a teacher. They are an educator. Actually, any good parent is spending more time with their children than the teachers will ever spend with that student and will be able to give more specific attention to their child than you will ever be able to give to any of your students as well. So I think parents have the right to say something if they see something that is wrong, if there's something that needs to be changed, because you are teaching their kids and they are the kind of ones that are going to have to, you know, live with them when they leave your classroom. And that's the problem here is that you have these uppity teachers that are just so above reproach that they just cannot take any type of criticism or feedback on what they're doing at all. And if you tell them that they should have in-person classes and that they should actually do their job, the thing that they want to do, then all of a sudden it's the biggest problem in the world and you as the parent are the worst. And you shouldn't say anything at all. You have no place here. Typical Democrat kind of thinking, isn't it? If you're not us, you can't talk about it. When you're not a woman, you can't do this, so you, you can't comment on this issue. You, you're not... Black, so therefore you're not able to have an opinion on this. That's that's how they act for so many things. And it doesn't prove their point right. It just makes them look more ridiculous. You just watched a clip from the William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.